afternoon, grade five. This is uh, Mr. B here talking, uh, coming to you today with our first uh, YouTube science lesson. So um, hopefully that goes well. Now you'll have to bear with this PowerPoint. I didn't make it. I'm just using it because it uh, makes my life easier. Um, but it is a bit dreary and white and black. But we'll do with what we got, right? <laughs> I'm not feeling like making one. You're not feeling like making one. So we're just going to go through this and just to be quick to give you an idea of the respiratory system. Um, so respiratory system, uh, we know in French, or maybe we don't, uh, respirer is to breathe. And so this comes from the Latin word, just to breathe. It's a breathing system, really. Um, but, you know, smart people have to call it by different names, um, just to make it sound better. Uh, here is uh, just a quote uh, from 1 Corinthians, just about, um, you know, how the body is made up of all these different parts. And uh, in, in our case, in the Bible, it's talking about how, you know, the body of Christ is made up of uh, many different people who have different strengths and different weaknesses. And uh, we all work together to uh, make a better community and uh, work for the kingdom, right? Um, so we all get different talents. Um, and so, uh, yeah, and every part is vital. And as we go through the body, we'll see just how important all these little parts are um, to make everything work and how epic it is that our body is being created in this way. Um, so we're going to start, jump right into it. So this is the respiratory system. And why is it important to us? Well, let's think about that. Why is it important that we breathe? Breathing, breathing, that kind of breathing is so important that our brain doesn't even make us do it. like we don't even have to think about doing it it just happens we just breathe automatically um so that's pretty awesome um so breathing really is uh yeah vital to uh, getting your blood oxygen and your blood needs oxygen because yeah, your body just uh, needs it to work and so and the blood carries that all around and uses it and so yeah it's really important that we get that oxygen into our blood and this is the system that does that so it's really good. It's uh, just another feature. We need water, we need air, and we need uh, food. So <laughs> and so this is one of those uh, parts. The other time we talked about uh, food with the digestive system, and so today we're jumping into the air part. So we can see here there's a few different parts, the nasal cavity. The uh, We won't really talk about the pharynx or the larynx or the, uh, the glottis, but we'll talk about the tri tracheae and the bronchus and the right lung and the left lung and all those things. I guess we'll talk about some things that aren't even on this thing. But yeah, that's the basic uh, idea of the breathing system there. So we will, uh, yeah, just talk here about how it, work, how it all works, just as a general overview. So if you see here, it says that the air, you know, enters your mouth, you can feel it. Breathe in, you, see, you know that your air goes in there, and then it goes down this one pipe that you, uh, you know, you have, the tra uh, trachea. And um, then it enters into two different pipes. Um, so it splits off into two. Um, kind of like you can kind of think of this almost like a tree, an upside down tree where it, yeah, it splits off into two uh, branches um, called the yeah, the bronchi uh, bronchial tubes um, that lead right into your lungs, which is where a lot of the epic stuff happens. Um, so your lungs uh, expand and contract as the air comes in and air leaves. And uh, yeah, you have your diaphragm that helps with that process. Uh, and then once the air gets into the uh, the bronchial tubes, it goes into these bronchioles, which are like almost like little branches off of the, bi the big branches. Um, and these lead to the little sacs that are so cool, the alveoles. Um, and so, yeah, and there, that's where all the interesting stuff happens, where the blood uh, changes its oxygen and carbon dioxide levels and uh, flips them around. And then you send all the carbon dioxide back and the oxygen gets taken in. And so that is... Uh, pretty awesome. So we'll just go in here and go into better detail. So your nose is basically like the gatehouse of your whole respiratory system. So your air comes in there, can come through your mouth as well, but we'll see that why it's better to breathe through your nose, generally at least. Um, and that's because inside your nose, you've got all these little like hairs that are basically function like little guards. They like grab all the dirt they um, you know hold things back and the dust and all that stuff and they hold it in your nose so that it doesn't get into the rest of your system. Now some does get by, just like uh, you know you can have border security and uh, people still get through. But uh, in um, in this case, it does stop a, a fair chunk, which is great. Um, so they're like little guards, and uh, yeah, they, that's why you know when you <laughs> blow your nose and you're kind of getting out all the captured dirt, 
if any of you guys have uh, parents who are landscapers or construction workers, uh, you can ask them about uh, how their noses get filled up with a ton of dust, especially if you're um, doing stonework. Oof. Then you're you're getting a lot of uh, dust in your nose, and that's not the, the healthiest. But your body has a system where it captures it, and uh, at the end of the day, you can definitely feel uh, the grit in there. So you have to clean out your nose pretty good. At least that was my experience when I was doing stonework. So yeah, you want to blow your nose out uh, and get all that gunk out. So that is uh, really cool. And so, yeah, I just do have this little picture. I know it's a stock image, but anyways, this is in uh, a million Borg in Denmark and it's just kind of cool. You know, the guards kind of guarding the gate and that's kind of the same idea, right? They just uh, protecting what's inside and, you know, inside of these very important and you got to keep everything running. So it's important to keep the dirt and uh, grime out of there. So yeah, as we said, it goes into these tubes, it breaks apart. Um, and these carry, these tubes carry it into your, um, into your actual lungs. So these are the bronchial tubes. Um, and yeah, they not only, so not only do they do the, uh, you know, they just kind of carry it further into your system and keep splitting it off into your two lungs. They actually also have mucus inside of them as well. Your nose is mucus too. I kind of failed to say that, but yeah, in your uh, bronchial tubes, there's also mucus that picks up more dirt. And it also picks up dirt that's like coming back through, the, you know, in a sense to kind of clean out your uh, lungs as well. So yeah, it's a it's a system that really uh, like cleans everything out and makes sure that the you know, dirt is getting trapped and not uh, staying in your lungs. So uh, that's that's a great part, and uh, I kind of think of that like almost like a you know a city guard or maybe like a police. You know, they just kind of they're there on the the roads and they, they catch the guys who aren't supposed to be there. So just the dirt in this case, or the grime, or whatever has got down into the system. And so that's the mucus and, you know, that's uh, the colloquial word is snot. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, in there. Um, and so this is a little picture here. You can see of, uh, this is the trachea. So that's the one tube right here. And then um, you have your two kind of branches. And you can see if you flip that around, it almost looked like a little bit of a tree, right? So, uh, yeah, it's uh, quite important. It's like the, you know, the breath of life, right? So you need to live through your breathing. And so it goes into all the system. And then we have our lungs, which is fun, you know, where the place where all the cool stuff happens. So our lungs, they, uh, the biggest part, one of the biggest, uh, you know, organs in our system, in our body, right? And they take up most of our chest space, like almost all of our chest space is lungs, which is, uh, you know, quite, <laughs> quite impressive. So you can see that the body devotes a lot of uh, room to uh, your oxygen intake. So um, it's obviously quite important. And we know that when we're running, <laughs> you need even more oxygen. So that's why we breathe harder, right? Um, so yeah, and, uh, part of this is that there's a muscle underneath your, underneath your lungs that helps to, uh, with the breathing in and out. And so we can see here, I hope you can see my mouse, but yeah, you can see right here that the, the diaphragm kind of helps to, yeah, you know, it's attached to the lungs. And so it kind of helps bringing in the air and pushing it out, um, and expanding and contracting lungs. So that's cool. And so those are the lungs. And now here you can see all the little branches and you can see how it's even more like a tree, right? It's like it's branches, 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 branches. Um, and so that's, uh, you know, really cool. And next we're into my favorite part, which up oh, now, nah, well, the trachea, we kind of don't know about that. Uh, this is the favorite part. Skip the trachea. The trachea is your main tube. So yeah, alveoli are really cool little like sacs almost at the end of your, uh, at the end of the branches. And this is where the kind of the air sits. And at all these branches, there's a whole bunch of blood flow that's in there. Uh, your veins kind of all sort of come up to this, uh, these sacs and they sit around there and the air is sitting in these sacs. And what happens is really cool. There's this uh, principle called uh, diffusion. And because there's more carbon dioxide in the blood than in the air, they want to switch places and kind of, uh, balance out and so the oxygen gets transferred over to the to the blood cells and the uh, the hemoglobin and the uh, carbon dioxide leaves and goes into the air again and so this happens and then your blood is it refilled with oxygen and it's able to transfer that throughout your system again so that is really cool and so from there uh just basically sits in these sacs and does this cool transfer thing and actually if you look in your body as we maybe learn about the body we'll 
hear more and more about how this works because this isn't the only place that uh, you know this sort of equilibrium thing uh, is used by the body to uh, to function. Um, so that's uh, that's pretty cool. And you have yeah, you can see here six hundred million uh, in total. Um, so that's a lot of uh, a lot of these little sacks, and yeah, you need a, you need them to just transfer this oxygen over. Um, so that's how we breathe. We breathe in with our big, big hair and our, our breathe in with our big nose. And then uh, obviously the brain is operating that, but it's a, kind of a subconscious, um, yeah, subconscious activity. And so it goes down and then it goes into our lungs. And then, if, you know, the blood gets, uh, transfers the carbon dioxide over and we transfer the oxygen, the lungs transfer the lung, the oxygen to the blood and the blood carries that throughout the body. And then we exhale the carbon dioxide. Now there's still oxygen in our air, air when we exhale uh, and carbon dioxide. So it's not like we've <laughs> basically uh, taken all the oxygen out. There's still oxygen when we breathe out um, just less than there was initially. So yeah, that's really cool. And here's some little slides. So that was just a quick video. Um, today I want you to just, uh, you can use this maybe as your sign or your picture to look at while you fill in the chart um, just to point out which parts are which. Um, there are other pictures through this slideshow where you could pause at, um, maybe even this one, just to uh, get some of the, the parts. Uh, anyways, work on the little document that I sent you. And if uh, you have any questions, just shoot me one. Uh, this is our science uh, lessons aren't yeah, as vital. So just do what you can. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you next time with the uh, next lesson, which I'll be working on soon. Okay, well, bye for now, class.